There's plenty of smoke coming across from the Bohemian supporters. So we're going to have a look at the two teams. Shamrock Rovers, a couple of changes from the one they lost to Dundalk last week for the Hoops captain. Roman Finn suspended. Richie Tao drops out. And former Bowes man Andy Lyons starts on the right. Aaron Green and Rory Gaffney will offer a real threat up front, as we've been hearing. Uh, for Bohemians. Kieran Kelly suspended, sent off last week in the 1 0 win over Shells. Rory Feely comes into the centre of defence. Keith Long had hoped that Tyreek Wilson would have been fit enough to start him in field, but this game's come too early for Wilson. Ty Ryan replaces James Talbot in goal. He did it last week and he keeps his place. It looks like Pat Morley's going to stay there for the rest of the season. Fancy this. He's got seven goals this season. Randy Mandrio. It is Mandrio. Oh, he goes short. And it wasn't the greatest connection, and Ryan had to deal with it. First corner of the match. Yeah, I mean, from our angle, it was, it was going wide, but I mean, he had to deal with it. I mean, you see there clearly here. I mean, the ball's come in, his bounced. Yeah, it's going wide, but he's had to deal with it. He's dealt with it well, but again, it keep, keeps the pressure on Bowes. You know, it, it started from the first go, for, from the first minute. On dry up. Forced to go back towards his own goal, and in the end, he's dispossessed. Here's Burt. Burt. Oh, shot across goal. That was a good effort. Manus just wasn't quite sure about that. Had to complete the dive. Happy to see it beat the far post. Yeah, but again, like both of a, a two on one, and I mean, he's gone himself. And again, you can't blame him for going himself. But in the wider angle, I mean, you'll see it. Look, he's gone through Burt. It's a great strike. I mean, it has gone wide. Lining up, Watts goes towards the back post. Mandrio! And he just peeled away at the back post, couldn't keep it down. Yeah, he's peeled away, and he, he, like it's, it's a decent ball. I mean, it's, it's, it's floated a bit, and, and you can see Mandrio's back and back, so it's very, very hard for him to get any power in that, because he's leaning back, so probably what he's trying to do is lob it to the back post. Gaffney, deep, looking for it. Challenge that is from Sherry, but the ball is into the area that has to be defended and nicely done in the end for Ty Ryan. And to the last minute we go. Mandrayu. Good effort. Half a chance, and he took it. I mean, you can see this is what he's all about. Took it inside, look for top corner, just drifted a tiny bit over. But there you go, give him half a chance, and he's always going to sniff out something. And that's a great chance. Sorry, a great strike. He's unlucky, just a bit too high. I think Murphy had it covered. That's a sitter. He should have scored. Sorry, Ty Grind. Sorry, a great, great chance. Great chance by Gaffney. Keeper got his body on the way. And it's a snuck in. Gaffney's claiming it. They're giving it. scores it's his fifth goal of the season and we're not even a minute into the second half and Shamrock Rovers snatched the lead Shamrock Rovers won Bohemians nil well there you go he was given a chance he missed it you took him off the hook you can't take him off the hook the second time and again it's just look it's sloppy defending I mean it's poor defending the ball's come in he, Manzu is unmarked Gaffney's on the back post and he's done a real striker's thing poor marking look there's a free head and then Gaffney is free two yards out and he knocks it in. They'd be very disappointed with that because they've started well. He's let him go. Credit Gaffney for being there. Striker's goal. He's done it so many times this year. 1 0 Rovers. And they've started like Bo started the first half, but they converted. Max Murphy, just 21 years of age. Coop outside of the boot. Finds Momo Sherry. Sinclair. Here's Coot. Say Manus. That was heading into the top corner. He hasn't had much to do, Anna Manus, in this game, but he did his job there. In the areas where they haven't caught him, and if Rovers do, they'll score again. Montreal. Cavanagh, this near side. To Gaffney. Nicely done by Gaffney. In the penalty. He needs a bit of support now, he hasn't got any. 
That's nice footwork by Gaffney towards the back post. Man, try bouncing off the crossbar. Brilliant work by Gaffney. Just no end product in the end, but lovely by Gaffney. Yeah, as I just said, he's picking up the areas. He's causing all sorts of problems. A beautiful ball to the back post, and there's Mandro. He's trying to knock it back across the goal, which he tried to do in the first half and put it over. He's now hit the top of the bar, so the sights just need to be adjusted a tiny bit more, and the next one could be just under. Whips it in. Oh, and it's promise with a little flick. Just couldn't find the inside of the net. It's him all day. I mean, he, he's done so much today for Bowles, you know. I mean, again, it's a great ball in for Flores. He's, he's a wonderful left leg. I mean, here you go. Promise has got a cross. He's done a little nick on it. Diverted out for a corner, which Watts will take. Time not on Bowles' side. Oh, and again, that's off the line by Flores. Still in. Hammered across by McCann, but cleared. Rory Feely. That's it. Full time whistle goes. And Shamrock Rovers do the treble. And it's that man in shot there. Rory Gaffney will score the winning goal after 47 minutes. Blood and thunder in the first half. Shamrock Rovers certainly took control of the second.